I trust in my ability. Edit this in. Hello viewers! I am supposed to be doing a ton of other stuff. It is 10.15 p.m. at night, but I'm gonna be making a haul video. That's right, some of the stuff I bought from the Philippines that I haven't unwrapped or used yet because I wanted to make this video. These have been laying around my house for about 12 days. I came back from the Philippines 12 days ago. Um, so they've just been laying around in my room taking up space and I kept thinking, okay, I'll make a video, I'll make it for sure, and as soon as I make the video, I can use all of these things that I bought. But life happened. Mini Kami hit me in the face as soon as I got here. Mini Kami is an anime artist market that I am participating in, and it hit me right in the face that as soon as I got back, there was only like three weeks to work on stuff. Not a lot of time for someone who doesn't have a lot of time. And after Mini Kami, I'm doing stand up. So I had to also prepare for that. So many things. And I had to edit some vlogs because by the time this goes up, the vlogs are not even done. I don't know. I'm gonna put this in a separate video. The vlogs aren't done yet. I'm still editing them. Um, vlogs about me being in the Philippines. Links will be below. All that good stuff. Can you see me? Okay. Yeah, you can see me. There's a mirror behind the camera, so I can tell. I'm also getting a little bit blinded by the light. Ooh, it's bright. Let's, uh, I'm gonna fix that a bit. It's the same. It's exactly the same. Okay, let's get started. I'm not gonna be showing every single thing I bought because actually I bought some presents and then I gave some of those away so I don't have them with me anymore. I didn't have a lot of money so I couldn't buy too too much. I was so spoiled in the Philippines. They served me food, they drove me around, they paid for my stuff. So okay, let's get started. Um, let's go with art supplies because I really started shopping for myself when I saw the art supplies section in National Bookstore. If there are still price tags on these, and I'm pretty sure most of them have price tags, I will tell you how much it is. Uh, they're not going to be in any particular order when I bought them, but okay, I remember I saw these brushes first, and I don't know if they are good quality. Can you guys see that? They're brushes for just in case I paint in the future. <laughs> I have a watercolor set, and I've been meaning to watercolor like more, but time, time! But you know, I have it just in case, and I bought these brushes because they were freaking cheap. Like 35 pesos, Philippine pesos, is a dollar. Think about that. So, let's see. These go from like 46 pesos, 27, 37, 19. So these brushes are a dollar to less than, what, doesn't make any sense. They go up to a dollar from like 20 cents. That's kind of crazy. I don't know if they're good quality, and if I use them, I will definitely put it on my art website. I'll put the links below for all my art blogs. And along with these, I saw Faber-Castell sold watercolors there. I don't know how much they are over here, but in the Philippines, it's 217 pesos. Price tag is over here. You can't see it unless I go really close. And I don't even know if they are good quality, but you know, again, if I use them, I will post it. Wow, you can't even see me. Let me look at that footage and then start over. Apparently I did not need to start over. Okay, looking at the mirror. I should use these. They look really cool. Faber-Castell 12 deck Farben watercolors since 1761. Faber-Castell is supposedly good, right? And then I bought pens. Okay, this literally, this pen, it was at the cashier's table. Like, you know when you're about to go to the cashier, they have like a lineup of stuff you could just impulse buy. I impulse bought this. I saw the pens. I didn't have time to test it. It was my turn. I grabbed it and I bought it. I don't know if it's good quality, but it's cheap, so I got it. I am so Asian. And I also bought these pens. If you can see that, they're Unipin pens. Maybe, maybe not. Mirror, tell me, I guess so. I bought a 0.5 and a 0.1, because a friend of mine a long time ago bought a box of these for me from the Philippines, and they're really good for inking. I really like the tip. The tip is kind of like felt, you probably can't see that, but I'll try anyways. Not really felt, but like it's not a ballpoint. It's just like a water and fade proof. I don't know what the top is called. And my nose is itchy, sorry, hold on a second. That's what I have for putting foundation on. Yes, I put makeup on for this video. I'm trying to be pretty so that it doesn't hurt to look at me. And then we went to 
I forgot what it's called, but it had a really cool name. It's basically like the bay there, but they got nicer stuff. And they had like a, a stationery section, and of course, I went to the stationery section. I was just drawn to it. And then I bought these. Did I buy these there? I'm pretty sure I bought these there. So these are called Sign Me MNG 24 colors. And okay, I saw these. I saw like this table, and I'm like, this is legit because it reminds me of Copic markers. They must be good. And hair's getting in my mouth. Hair loves going in my mouth. I'll show you what they look like. It reminds me of Copics because you've got the fine line, the fine tip, right? You, you can see that. And then you've got this, this like felt tip, like for painting. Can you see that? I, I don't. I'm trying. I just, I'm really excited about these. And I don't know about the quality. I've tried them a bit. I'm not used to it because they are much darker than Copics. Copics get on lighter, but maybe because most of these colors are kind of dark. But they're so pretty. And it looks so legit and it's called Sign Me. So I got it. And it's not even a Filipino brand. It's like a Chinese brand, I think. I thought it was Korean. I'm so ignorant. And along with that, because I really wanted to try it out while I was in the Philippines, even though I have a sketchbook, I bought myself, I actually bought my friends some of these because I saw a bunch of drawing books that I I don't see here, like good quality covers. I bought like a Naruto one for my boyfriend, a Naruto one for my other friend, and like bought like a Barbie for another friend, and then a One Piece. I was cheap and I got these for them as presents, along with some other stuff. And I did draw on it using the markers, and this is so shitty, but you know what, whatever. So, <laughs> if you're interested in my art blog, expect this quality. <laughs> this one isn't so bad. This one's kind of cool. I like that one. That's the quality of the marker. It's just like, I don't know, it's like Sharpie or something. I don't know. I need to practice with it more. Sometimes it's not about, <clears throat> not about the tools. It's about the skill. Quote by Jash. Okay, moving on to clothing. I really don't have that much. When I went to Palawan and I did buy a bunch of shirts for like friends and family. Sorry, for boyfriend and family. I didn't buy any of my other friends' shirts. I bought myself this t-shirt. Isn't it pretty? Look at that design. Look at that. I'm stroking my tummy with the design. So nice. This shirt was cheap uh, from what I remember. It doesn't have a price tag on it, but um, if I remember correctly, this was around 150 pesos, which is very cheap for a shirt. At the same shop that I bought the markers from, and I was there for like two hours, but I only managed to snag one that I liked, and it was bought for me, actually. I didn't have to pay for it. Actually, I also have some bracelets. And you know, even if you've seen it in the vlogs, I'll go grab them. Hold on a second. That light is a blinding. I'm just, I'm almost done. I'm just gonna deal with it. This is a top that I got. It's got butterflies on it because I actually really like butterflies. I've never had a top like this before. Very simple. I'm a very simple gal. I don't need extravagance and I like this top. 400. I have been looking for cheap but good quality sleeping clothes and lo and behold Philippines has it. So allow me to show you the pajamas that I got. I got this tank top that says what about second breakfast and it's a donut Second breakfast, I thought was a term in The Hobbit. I think it is, and like in Lord of the Rings. So it should have been like a one of those elf breads that they eat. I am so not a nerd when it comes to Lord of the Rings. I'm a nerd about everything else though, Asian stuff. Um, but yeah, it's a donut. It's so cute and it looks really comfy. And you can pair it with these sprinkle sleeping shorts that I also got. Look how cute. And I could have been wearing this as soon as I got back from the Philippines, but I wanted to make this haul video so I actually haven't taken out them out of their bags yet. That's done. And it was a choice between that and this other sleeping clothes, and then in the end, I ended up with both. So here's the second purchase. This one says, bear with me, I am tired. Look how cute that is. There's the design, there's the bear, here's the bear. Call it a duster, and I've always wanted one because the one I have is like, I've had it since I was eight. Yeah, I, I keep my stuff that long. I have a lot of old stuff. This very comfy duster, not for dusting, although you could use it for that, but I would rather not, is 399.75. 399.75 divided by 34. Oh, 
Okay, let's take out the calculator. 11 bucks. So this is 11 bucks. This is 399.75 pesos. Philippine pesos. Piso? I don't know. I say pesos because that's how I see it spelt. These shorts. Oh, the shorts and these came together. So, oh, that's a good deal. And last purchase, and this is the most exciting, this is the most fabulous thing I have, and probably the most comfortable, and you can't have those two in one sentence usually. So, here we go. You guys ready for this? Ta-da! A gray tank top. The plainest of the plain. I am so basic. I need all the tank tops that look like this. And I love gray because it represents my personality. I like tank tops. I wear them underneath everything. I never wear tank tops like this on their own. I always wear it underneath a shirt. I'd be wearing it under this if I didn't mind how comfy this was on its own. 199.75 pesos. Oh! Bracelet. This is a bracelet that my auntie got me. One of my aunties because I have so many. Um, because she wanted to be nice. She wanted to give us a little memory. Let me go grab the other one. This little Catholic thing that I showed you guys already, but here's one of the things I got from the Philippines that I enjoy very much. I don't wear it here too, too often, but it's very easy to wear, very comfortable, so easy to slip on. I love it. And I love the colors. I love colors, as you must know by now. I mean, look at my wall. I forgot about this bag. I bought this because I was getting really sick of my green one, and I really like the pattern on this. Look at that. This was like $12. Um, the only problem with it is the straps come out in the middle here, like they're attached here, so when my bag gets really full, it starts to go upside down. I mean, that's what I get for buying a cheap bag. You get what you pay for. So there you have it. That was my haul video, and I hope you liked it. And if you didn't, I'm sorry, but you watched it this far. Like, if you're listening to me right now, you couldn't stop watching it. You didn't turn it off, so you must have liked something about it. Either way, thank you for giving me a view. Like and subscribe. Tell me what you think. I love comments. I'm addicted to notifications. I kind of have a dopamine addiction. And uh, I'll see you next time. So on that note, keep up the good work. By the way, look what I found under my dresser. Somebody finished a bottle of vodka and the only person in my house from the last three weeks was my brother. He needs a good talking to. Didn't even share with me.